Hi, this is Greg Koopman. Today I'm going to talk to you about installing Talon Open Studio. Okay, I just finished downloading the free version of Talon Open Studio, and um, let me just show you. I had a little bit of discomfort with it, but of course that's to be expected, I guess. So, uh, first of all, so I, I went and typed in Talon free download. Because uh, as I understand it, you know, there is a free download open source. It's a little bit restrictive compared to Enterprise. But at least we can go ahead and uh, do something there. So when I went into there, I did go for the free trial. Product details. Try now. Try these free products, right? So this is where I went. I didn't go to the free trial here. It says try now. I went here and I downloaded the free tool on the talent.com website under download. So that's what I did. So I went to download the free tool. I'm on Windows. So um, download Windows. Okay. And it goes through some different things here license support, free open source, Apache license. But we're not on Apache. But. Um, Anyways, I downloaded the Windows version, okay, like this, and I put it on my C drive uh, under, and I created a, uh, a folder called Talent, okay, so it kind of looked like what you're seeing here, okay, so that was a beginning. So if we look at my drive, Okay, so after I uh, I took the file that was downloaded and I put it into a D drive, I put it in an installed area. So I went to download, let's see, I created a little file, a folder called Talent. And then this is where I installed it from. Okay, and um, so once I clicked on the uh, install the zip file it um, it asked me for a destination folder it goes right into the install asked me for a destination folder it defaults to C colon I added the another folder there for C colon talent that's where I want to install it and all I do is press install after about five minutes the it installs and um, it doesn't tell you really much uh, tells you it's completed uh, but again, like I said, it doesn't show any icons or anything. Uh, and then once it loaded, uh, in, unzipped, um, and did its install, it then uh, placed the placed all the data in the, this folder. And so here's the subfolders, nice and neat. And what it didn't do, I it, I didn't see any icon or anything that allowed it, which told me. It didn't seem to place anything on my in my directories or anything here so I really had to go back to that folder and um, find the application to run it okay so actually when I first tried to run it although I don't have a snapshot of what the error looks like exactly I did get basically it had at the very top of it terminated exit code 13 something like the kid not launch studio something like that and then it said terminated exit code 13 and so that's what i looked up and i got this um this uh particular support uh article and um it went through it and it talked about uh, again about the bad jdk version and uh it went through that and that helped me get through it okay so um, it said make sure you get the, the Sun JDK 1.6 or higher uh, and like I said there's another article from another error I got that said that you know it had to be 8 instead of 10 so um, that's when I got rid of 10 made sure I got 8 SDK like I showed you and that was uh, and that really took care of the error and got me going so I loaded j uh, the Java download resource you know I went to the Java downloads and that kind of thing and at first I downloaded this one called Java SE 10.0.2. Now, by the time you watch this, that might be fine. But at this time, which is, uh, where are we at now? September of 2018, 
um, that seemed to be a problem. They, they, I went back to the website and they said, no, don't do 10. Because once I did loaded the Java SE 10 SDK, uh, they said the the next message error I got, and I looked up and telling they said, no, you don't want 10, you want eight. Okay, and the version of Talon that I'm trying to run is 7.0, by the way. So that's 7.0, but at this point in time, it seemed like they said to do 8. So what I had to do is go and uninstall 10, and then install the Java SE, this one here. And I downloaded that. And this is the site, of course, Oracle there. Uh, and once I downloaded that, um, then it worked. But... Uh, you know that was my experience with this and uh, it was a you know and I, they didn't give me a, a icon to run from but eventually it got it worked in fact and when I looked up to see where to you know what Java's I had on my machine which I'm running Windows 10 I was um, I got you know basically they have you go into apps and features and type in Java and so these what these are what I finally had before I had uh, Java 10 on there, and apparently there's a conflict. So once I got did an uninstall on Java 10, which is basically just clicking on it, and then you have it, they give you an uninstall button here. So I uninstalled it, then I went back, and I, before I just had Java 8 or something like this, one of these two, uh, I think I just had this one, the 8, 181, and um, and I, I tried running it from there, and from I tried to run it just with this Java 8 update on it and that didn't seem to work uh so again i got errors so um once i went like i showed you i went to that website downloaded the sdk uh and that worked i put these two things on it and uh these two drivers on it and uh, then when i geared up the the talon uh it uh, opened okay Okay, so at this point, I'm going over and I'm going to actually run the program. Again, I, as I said, the it when I installed it, the icon didn't, wasn't put on my desktop or wasn't placed into my any of my system trays, whatever you want to call them, programs. Um, so I just went over here and ran it directly from the uh, folder I installed it to. And again, I looked and I saw my 64, my uh, TOS, which is Talent Open Source. 64-bit uh, application. Again, I'm running on Windows, so I just double-click on that one. And okay, so first, once I run it, I get a splash screen that says "Talent Open Studio for Data Integration." Then right after that, I get this screen, which points out uh, my existing project, which is my first project I'm going to have, and um, that's pretty much it. And it's local. And uh, there's a lot more to this, but basically this gets us started. All I have to do is hit finish, and then I'll be into the I'll be, be into this local project. If I wanted to create a new project, I could go here and add a new project. Okay, so let's just go from here. I'm just gonna uh, so let's just go ahead and hit finish, and then once you do that, um, you should get right into it here. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to load. It seems to be pretty, a little heavy. So um, it does take a while, maybe a minute or two. Okay, so now I have it, it came up. Bring it over to the screen. Okay, and so here's my welcome window. All right, and I had already gone in here at one point and created this test. Um, Let's go into test there, and here I am. I'm in my first uh, job, all right. Um, and it, already, it's asking me to download some more libraries, and I think you'll see this from time to time um, because I don't think it loads everything in the first shot. And so, uh, as it as you use different components, it will probably ask you to download some more. Um, some some more libraries. So let's go ahead and hit finish here. So it looks like it's retrieving some more areas. License must be reviewed and accepted before the modules can be installed. Uh, sure, accept all. Okay, I, I will. Accept.
accept all. Yeah, I think it's doing some things here. And that's it. So um, I put in my first component and I'm in the in the program. So that's how you install it.